Hello everyone, my name is Aaron and this is a quick tutorial about my plugin Tangled Maze. Tangled Maze is a server plugin that allows you to easily create and customize mazes in Minecraft. So let's jump right into it and see how it works. To start creating a maze, we are going to use the command slash Tangled Maze wand to get a maze wand. This one works similar to the world edit wand where you can click two blocks to select an area. If you're not happy with your selection, you can either click two new blocks or click on a corner to move it to another location. The selection shown in gold is the area where your maze will be built later. The neat thing about this is that Tangled Maze can adapt to small hills and bumps in the terrain, so you are not limited to build in flat areas only. Next we are going to use the command slash Tangled Maze start to convert the area to redstone. The purpose of that is that we can now add exits to the maze just by clicking on the redstone border. To finally build a maze, we use the command slash tangled maze build. And here you can enter any types of blocks you want your maze to be built out of. For example, I will choose oak planks with some red wool in it. Let's say in a ratio of 10 to 1. So I will add a times 10 here. And ta-da! You just created your first maze. Let's have a look at how you can do things like editing the shape of your maze, changing the dimensions of its walls or adding a roof to it. For this we are going to remove our maze for a second with slash tangled maze unbuild because the redstone border actually allows for more things than just setting exits. For example, you can select a new area with the maze wand and with slash tangled maze add, this clip will be added to your maze. If you use slash tangled maze cut instead, this area will be removed. You also have the option to create circles and triangles with your maze wand. Use the command slash tangled maze tool and here you can switch between rectangle, circle and triangle. If you are only looking into making small changes to your maze, you can also use slash tangled maze tool brush. Instead of setting exits, clicking left and right now extends and reduces the border of your maze. Any of these actions I just showed can be reverted with slash tangled maze undo. Of course, you can also change how paths are being generated in your maze. For this, there is the command slash tangled maze setting. With the setting path width, you can change how wide paths are going to be and blocks. Wall height affects the height of walls, and wall width changes the thickness of walls. The setting curliness is a bit different though. I think the best way to explain it is to compare two mazes. The one on the left here has a curliness set to 1. You may notice that its paths are changing directions very often. Whereas the maze on the right has curliness set to 10. Here you can see that the paths are going in one direction for much longer. A roof or a floor can actually also be added to your maze pretty easily. Just use the build command and add the flag minus floor or minus roof to it anywhere. Alright, I think that's about it in this tutorial. If you would like to support this project, then make sure to check out Tangled Maze Plus. It's not like a completely new version of Tangled Maze, but it has the feature to back up mazes, so you can also edit mazes after you're logged out of the game or the server restarts, which is pretty useful, I think. I hope you enjoyed this video till now. Have a nice day everyone and bye!